let's jump into some pieces that I got for fall. The catalyst for this video was that I was actually going to recreate Matilda Jerf's Instagram outfits. So almost like half of this stuff was for that video. But separate from her, I've also been very inspired by like this minimalistic approach to fashion and also being more mindful of what you're buying. So buying a piece that you're gonna wear for like the next 10 years and even pass on to your kids maybe. So yeah, let's just get into some of the stuff that I got. I guess it's only appropriate to start off with Jerf Avenue, which is Matilda Jerf's company. I got the breezy blue striped shirt and oh my gosh, guys, I never really thought that. Like button downs are everywhere, right? But this one is so amazing and so worth the money. I'm also pretty sure that they are very focused on sustainability, which is why they cost so much, but also you can just tell that she worked very hard on the custom cut and fit of this because it's the perfect length. Like to get this bagginess, you usually have to wear like a men's button down, but this one has the bagginess, but it's the right length for my short little body. Yeah, I love this thing so much. Hey yo, outfit number one. I was filming in this room where Ryan was filming, so there were like three people looking at me. So just enjoy incredibly awkward footage of my outfits. Awesome. Very interesting concept, the button down with a athletic skirt, but I kind of love it. And some sneakers. Obviously for a warmer state, like I live in Texas, so I'm sorry if my fall outfits are not fall appropriate for your area. But to spice that up, I switched over to a leather trench coat and these little Doc Martin booties. We've completely altered the look and hopefully it's a little bit warmer for you guys who actually experience the fall weather. What is that like? I, I don't know. Let's not talk about the outfit I'm wearing to film this. I didn't think I'd show my lower half in this video, so I just ignore that. Oh, also I dyed my hair brown for the fall season. I didn't mention it in my previous video because I posted so much about it on Instagram and TikTok that by the time I came back to the channel, I just thought like, oh, everyone's in the loop. So that's a plug, go follow me. I got these pants from Jerf Avenue as well, which is really interesting because I would never know how to style a pair of like businessy pants, but she wears these all the time in ways that I just adore. And I'm actually going to like a convention next week with a bunch of tech bros. So I'm going to definitely be pulling these out. And I just love the feel of them. I love baggy clothing and I love that this is just a staple that can go through any season and will last you many years as is the theme with all the pieces that I bought. Outfit number three. As you can see for all of these outfits I'm using pieces from this haul because the point is that I don't have to buy many things and I can wear them a bunch of different ways kind of like a capsule wardrobe so I'm still wearing that same blue button down with these pants that are way too big for me unfortunately and I really like the casual sneakers look with these dressed up business pants. So I got this leather jacket from Princess Polly. Why Princess Polly? did I do this? I can't really tell you because you can find these in thrift stores. This one is not even like the most amazing leather jacket you could get. I mean, the quality of seems pretty good to me, but I mostly got this from Princess Polly because I also wanted to order one of these skirts. This black pleated skirt and a white button down. I wanted to buy the white button down from Jerf Avenue because it definitely would be like a nicer cut and everything, but I was really trying to recreate a dark academia look. I'm going through a little bit of a dark academia hyperfixation. All the books that I read, I wanna watch Dead Poet Society. I wanna go to the United Kingdom, read in the rain and wear these outfits and pretend like I grew up in prep school. And I feel like it's only appropriate during fall so that was the goal with this outfit. I love how you can wear the high boots with these skirts or you can do the socks and loafers. I know it's berries and creams vibes now because of TikTok, but we won't let them ruin our dark academia vibe, okay? Sorry, that was a little aggressive. Um, yeah, my dark academia dreams, like I just will not let them die, so. Along the same lines, I got this oversized, ooh, what do you call this? Oh, the words are slipping from my memory. Knit, perhaps? I don't know. It's a uh, cream vest. All the words are slipping my brain for some reason. I got this from Abercrombie and Fitch. This is an extra small and it's nice and baggy, but I don't know if you guys saw the TikTok that was like, what Gen Zer went to Abercrombie and told them to just basically copy Aritzia because that is what their store looks like now. So I just got this singular piece from them because I was like looking up cream knitted vest and this seemed like the most reliable one. Next outfit is like that previous dark academia outfit in like a different font. We've got the blazer that is not leather. Going with the dark Martys with this. Trying to style this tweed purse and I love this cream knit vest. I feel like I could also wear these with the business pants. With overalls, it's just really versatile. Interestingly enough, this is a black skirt from Girlfriend Collective, which I believe is a sustainable athleisure brand. And I more so bought it for tennis, running, working out, stuff like that. And then on TikTok the other day, I saw a girl wearing her athletic tennis skirt with like the Nike swoosh and everything, but with a formal button down. And I really liked it. So I was like, you know what? This actually works for like the fall haul. 
and wearing it with blazers and all that like from afar It's just so nice and smooth that it works really nicely And it just comes in with built-in shorts big fan my first item from girlfriend collective and it's very nice quality I gotta talk about this. I guess it's about time I take off the tag because I definitely love this so I bit the bullet and I spent um, money on <laughs> I spent money, but I I spent money on a good quality blazer so that I won't have to buy another one for like ever honestly is the goal so this one I got from Nordstrom it's the brand good American I almost want to say that I bought this in the wrong size category I'm not sure but I really like the fit of it like I can wear it as a dress and it has the nice shoulder padding but I feel like a blazer is just one of those staples in your closet and I'm really not down with like buying from places and then seeing rips in my clothing after the first time that I wash it but yeah I love the blazer look for the dark academia vibes or the minimalistic vibes for the business casual vibe just it just fits so many different categories and I love it with my whole heart these next three items are actually rented items so I don't own these and I started doing this from a website because I like I said I've been trying to be more intentional thinking about what I'm buying what I'm putting in my closet and so I decided well if I wanted to like wear a really cool dress one time for an event or for Instagram or for content whatever it is I should just rent it and apparently there are websites for that hoping one day they sponsor me but for now they're not I'm just using their services and this month I got this tweed dress I just thought this was so fun and see this is the type of thing that I would probably style once and not really wear again so it's not something I need to purchase so then it can go to the next person and not go in the trash this dress reminds me of the Princess Diana movie that's coming out with Kristen Stewart so I might just have to wear this to go watch that for no particular reason other than that's what I think of when I wear this I'm styling it with these high boots and putting a blazer over it just in case it's actually cold where you live and then I got this black shift dress is that what it's called I'm not sure I just wanted a plain long black dress to go for this look that I wanted to recreate and lastly I feel like this is something that you could buy and be a staple but I live in Texas so it's really not like I'm gonna get any I'm not gonna get tons of use out of this item and that is a super long leather jacket trench coat that's what they're called and together it made for a lot of the looks that I've been trying to recreate so okay this outfit is the most epic thing I have ever worn I feel super awesome when I wear it I feel like the girl from squid game would wear this number 67 not sure why I feel that way but this was my my attempt at recreating that Pinterest look and boy oh boy do I love this outfit so freaking much. Now this item right here. I mostly got this for the flannel, but it comes as a two-piece set with the dress. This is from Free People. It is so soft, so amazing, and I love the shade of pink. It makes me feel like I'm in the Twilight movie. I love button downs, flannels so much. They're so soft, they're so baggy. You can style them so many different ways. This one makes me feel like I'm in Twilight, like I said, which is like ultimately my goal in life is to feel like I'm in Twilight, so I absolutely love this. There's just not much more to say. This outfit is so soft and cozy. I really love it, but I I styled it previously just by wearing those sneakers as you saw, but I also liked it with these Doc Martens and the black purse. I feel like this is a nice little casual outfit for hanging out with your friends, going out somewhere. Three of my favorite items that I got from ThreadUp. This video is not sponsored by them. Don't worry, I'm not about to go into that. I'm trying to remember what TV show I feel like a character wears clothes like this from. So please comment, because I cannot think of it, but this shirt is from Petite Sophisticate and Co. And I like to pair it with this black overalls dress. It just gives me a great Halloween vibe, pumpkin patch. The daughter from the Adams family. I kind of feel like her when I wear this just like cute innocent little Halloween vibes I feel I feel I added the tights to my black overalls outfit and I really like it a lot It feels a lot more elevated this way and at first I wasn't wearing the white socks with my shoes But once I added them I just I think they look a lot better like that and I'm adding my purse of course And we've got my nice little pumpkin patch outfit. Whoa, what is that? Oh, is that a is that a girly pop hoodie with the embroidery? Little plug for the girly pop hoodies if you want to cop one for this winter fall season. Link is in the description, HaleyFam.com. If you're a girly pop and you want to rep it, these are super soft and I really like them, so yeah. And also from ThreadUp, I got these pants, which are my dream pants. They're from the brand Vince, which I'm pretty sure is like- Are they a luxury brand? I'm not really sure, but I love the way that they cinch my waist and then they go out into these like little balloon pants. I love the color of them. They're perfect for my petite little legs. Nice cream color. So 
so goes with the minimalism vibe. Absolutely amazing and stunning and gorgeous. Let's do shoes and accessories. My absolute favorite part of this entire haul. We have two purses. This one is a coach leather bag that I got from ThreadUp. Guys, I got it for $49.99 and these bags are originally like $450. So I'm not sponsored, but I will be and for good reason. I, <laughs> I actually, like their website is actually amazing for stuff like this. And I absolutely love this black bag. It is gone with like every outfit I've worn this week. It's the perfect size and I, I don't know why, but I feel kind of embarrassed when I wear purses. I really don't know what that is. I don't feel embarrassed wearing it. Like, so I don't feel overly dressed up when I wear it. I think that's why I get embarrassed from wearing things because I have a fear of like being overdressed, which is so dumb. I'm trying to get over that. And it just goes with everything for every season as well, but it's not as plain as like those little baguette bags that were really trendy over the summer. So I just love this bag so much. It's such a staple. And then this one is rented from Rent the Runway. I don't know what the brand is on it, but it's a tweed bag. It's definitely like one of those statement pieces that you would not want to spend, or at least I wouldn't want to spend tons of money on a designer item. So I got this to style with some outfits this month and I'm really excited to do so. Okay, one of my favorite things from this haul are these boots from the brand Ghani. Spock, I'm really gonna need you not to chew that over here, Butters. It's really loud. Um, I think Ghani is a designer brand because I had to get it off of like a off the website Farfetch. I think that's a resale website. I'm not really sure. But I got these for the Matilda video because she has these boots. And oh my gosh, I love them so much. They're rubber. They're not heeled. So they don't make a ton of noise when you walk in them. They actually go with so much of the stuff that I have in this haul. And I absolutely am obsessed with them. Like they're statements, but they're easy to style, which I feel like is a hard combo to find. These were worth every penny. And so were these shoes. These are the Reebok C85 or something. I used to have the green pair which is funny because I lost white. Well, I don't think I lost it. I think I just like overused those shoes and they were brown basically. But I found these red-ish pink ones and I love these. They're so soft. Mine, I got a six and a half, which I'm usually a six and a half or a seven. And these are like a little bit too big for me. So that's a little word of advice if you're gonna order a pair of these. But these are just one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Next up, we have these beautiful brown leather heel booties. These are a classic fall thing. I feel kind of funny because I'm getting to the point where I'm wearing things that I have memories of my mom wearing. So I don't really know what that says about my age or my style, but I honestly am not mad about it because I think it's great and gorgeous and beautiful. I also got these from ThreadUp. I'm pretty sure the brand is Fry. And then of course you need a pair of black shiny loafers for the dark academia feel. So I got the Aldo lightweight ones. And at first when these came in, I was like, okay, there's no way these fit me. Whatever material they are, they just need some time to stretch. So they actually do fit me now. Berries and cream ruined loafers, but I won't I won't let them. Still gonna wear them anyway. For wearing the loafers, I got these socks that are like these, what is this called? They're like a tight material. And then they got the black elastic at the top. And I love these for the loafers because loafers with ankle action is like a little bit awkward in my opinion. So you, I either wear white socks or these. And then I also got a pair of black tights to wear under skirts with blazers, stuff like that. And lastly, kind of strange, but I got two pairs of sunglasses because of the Matilda Jerf video. The first one, the brand is fifth and ninth. I got these from Nordstrom and they're just like a classic pair of rectangular tortoise shell. They kind of flare upwards. I feel kind of really old wearing this outfit right now, but it matches my hair. Oh my gosh. I feel like these glasses look so much better with this hair. Okay. That's awesome. And then I got a pair of, this is my first pair of designer sunglasses. It's Christian Dior. I got this from The Real Real and it's because I was trying to get as close as possible to what Matilda Jerf was wearing. Would you look at these bad boys? They're like some nice 90s um, shield glasses or whatever they're called. And these are cool. Definitely a 90s feel. Kind of funky, kind of out of my comfort zone, but also feel super cool wearing them. I also kind of feel like a 30 year old mom in this shirt and these glasses. So we're not gonna style it like that. This is a pair of sunglasses for the books. My first pair that I gotta keep good care of. And I think that about does it for my fall haul. I hope you guys like this haul. It took some inspo. I was gonna say got some vibe inspiration. I have no idea what that means. If you would also like some fall vibe my book recommendations. <laughs> I made a video on my book channel, which I guess officially now it's a book channel because I'm like six or seven videos deep. Or otherwise, you can catch me on Instagram or TikTok at HaleyFam, and I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Goodbye.